technology, the truth. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and this is my final thoughts and redirect for episodes 68, 69, and 70 of Inuyasha. So go ahead, click the link in the description, check the reaction video out, and then come back here and let me know what you think in the comments section. If you're currently watching this on YouTube and you want to see next week's reaction video, check out my Patreon. I usually upload within 24 hours of the current YouTube reaction videos, so check that out. The link is also in the description. Um, it had occurred to me that I actually um, forgot to record this. It was really late. I had school and everything, as you know, if you watch the reaction video. And this is actually now a few days later, and I'm, I'm just getting to it. So um, uh, I apologize if I don't remember all, everything, but I think I remember most things. Um, episode 68 was a really cute episode with Shippo. Uh, he got to meet this girl who was like a remnant of the Thunder Tribe or whatever the fuck they call it. Um, but either way, she's like somehow related to the Thunder Brothers. And um, she challenges him for the sake of her tribe because she's like the sole remaining member and she believes that it's Shippo's fault that the Thunder Brothers and, and all of them were wiped out. Even though it really wasn't Shippo's fault, it was more Inuyasha's fault. Um, but it was pretty cute. Uh, we got to see Shippo, you know, fight back and... Uh, they were just two kids really just having a little squabble and in the end they kind of realized that uh, it was kind of pointless Shippo showed her I forget her name now but she showed her how to like draw with crayons and then she fell in love with him some uh, crazy weird weird episode but uh, I really liked it I like these Shippo episodes I'm not gonna lie when they first introduced Shippo I thought he was a little annoying but he's grown on me quite a lot and I think he's pretty cute now so um, yeah but then we got uh, episode 69 and 70, um, which started a new arc with uh, Onigumo, of all people. It seems like Naraku was able to expel Onigumo out of his body, and um, at first Onigumo didn't know who he was, and he was just going around like stealing people's faces and whatnot. But uh, eventually he did learn who he was, and he's out to just like, um, I guess try to get Kagome because he had loved Kikyo back in the day and I think he wants to try to get Kagome because she's like Kikyo in a lot of ways. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he eventually remembered who he is and he was able to uh, regenerate and all this crazy shit and Inuyasha's having a real tough time beating him. The wind scar doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if the backlash wave will work if if there's a strong enough attack that Onigumo can use against Inuyasha for the backlash wave to work. I don't know, but they're in quite a predicament and I'm not entirely sure how they're going to get out of it. Um, this is definitely different. I wasn't expecting uh, Naraku to expel that portion of him that still longs for Kikyo out. Um, but even then, I don't think he was able to completely get rid of it because he was born from Onigumo in the first place. So um, I really like these episodes. Um, I, sorry that this video is going to be shorter than, than most of them because I normally record them immediately after I record the reaction, but um, with school and work and everything, I totally forgot, and now it's days later, and it's just not going to be fresh in my mind. So, um, unfortunately, this, this is where I'm going to have to leave it, but I really did like these episodes, and I can't wait to see how they eventually do deal with Onigumo in the following episode or so. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Chronic Gamer. Peace.